Floss Tube, it's Lindsay and welcome back to Blushing Pink Stitches. Today we're going to do a clip parade. So excited. Uh, the last time I did one of these was back in 2022. So like that was my first year on Floss Tube. And when I had a look back at that video, um, it was a combination of tra your traditional cross stitch kits like dimensions but also projects that I had kitted up myself so um yeah uh, and that was about an hour long video I think so today I'm just going to be talking about your traditional cross stitch kits and um, things that come as a kit um and the, I do have lots of kitted up projects um if you'd like me to do a video on that at some point I will um I don't know I don't always know how interesting that is for my kitted projects just because I don't use a lot of um fancy fabrics and stuff like that I do use some but um I don't know maybe it's good from a perspective of you know give you some inspo for other projects that you might want to do down the line and things that you might want to add to your stash and things like that I don't know anyway you guys can let me know I of course have a lot more kits than I did when I did that video back in 2022 so I'm not sure how long this is going to be um I have about an hour and a half before I have to go and collect Bella from preschool I was sort of hoping that the video would fit into that hour and a half slot but if it doesn't then what I will do is find a time during this week to come and do the other bit of it um, I might not split it into two videos. I quite like a long kit parade video. Yeah. So if I come back with different clothes, you'll know that it took me longer than an hour and a half. Well, if the video is longer than an hour and a half, you know that it took me longer than an hour and a half to do. So anyway, let's just dive in. I have four of these um, magazine holders and plus a little bit of overspill so I do need to buy some new magazine holders um yeah that they just really suit me they fit really nicely on the shelves of my cupboard um I like that you can get them in different patterns and yeah I think they're good for me so anyway I'm not going to do these in any order I've just put this one on my desk to begin with and we're just going to go for it so I'm, I'm going to grab out of here so the first one that I have this is a dimensions gold collection petites there's going to be loads of glare but I can't really help that um this is called elegant geisha um I do have quite a few of the petites um and it's easy to think that the petites will be easier because they're smaller but they they still have a lot of lot involved in them so there's no reason why you couldn't do one as a beginner when I've got back into cross stitch again um, after I had my daughter I started one of these um, yeah and you just sort of learn as you go along um, but they're notorious obviously dimensions for lots of different um, strands of thread so some things are one some things are two some things are four um, some things are ten stitch some things are four cross then you have sort of like metallics and french knots but um, yeah I do like this one I bought this one at Christmas time I think last year um, because I love oriental things so this comes with pre-sorted thread and um, it is a an 18 count ivory ada I wonder whether it'd be better for me to show it on this side just because you might not get the glare let's see okay this is an older dimensions kit it's called bonsai and buddha yeah I think that side is better isn't it um a lot of these I buy either from like the older kits I will buy from eBay or from Facebook D stash groups so I think this is an eBay purchase um this has got a printed Ada in it so you can see some of that background isn't stitched and um, because it's an older kit um, they don't come with pre-sorted threads so the newer dimensions kits come with these um, thread holders what do they call them on here they just call it pre-sorted thread with all of the colours so you can see what everything is and it's, it makes it much easier 
the older kits don't so you have to sort the thread yourself obviously there's a thread list in there um, but this is 14 count printed ivory ada so yeah again we've got an oriental theme and there's something that i like about buddhas as well i'm not a religious person at all but uh, let's just open this up a bit um okay this is called ballerina dreams by dimensions it's another gold collection but this is the bigger gold collection so with dimensions you get um sort of your normal dimensions kit uh then you get the petite gold collection and then you get the bigger gold collection and then you get things like ornament kits and things like that banner kits um the gold collection ones um i think from what i have gathered are more challenging in terms of there's more of that this number of threads for this stitch this number of threads for this stitch. there's a lot of moving around in terms of um exactly what they want you to do the instructions and the specialty stitches and when i say that french knot is a specialty stitch isn't it so this one i bought um from the essex needles retreat it was being on the d stash table and i just love those two little girls they're really sweet and like the way I, i'm really interested to see the way that they get all this shimmer in their dresses That'll be really impressive. So this one has been opened. It's got 18 count ivory ada. Um, and all the floss you can see is in here, but it is on the cards. So that is in the kit. Um, I really like the wreath um, kits from Dimension. So this one is wreath for all seasons or wreath of all seasons. They do quite a few different wreath kits, which I really, really like. Um, all of this background is also stitched. So I, I did think, oh, because I come from the UK, do I change the full bit to autumn? But you're never going to fit the whole of the autumn word in there, are you? No. So I don't think it's worth doing. So I might just do it as, as it is. But this would be a good one to do seasonally. So you could stitch a quarter of it, you know, in, in autumn um what else have we got where well, this is winter down here isn't it with the berries and the poinsettia and you've got spring and summer um yeah again a newer kit so you've got pre-sorted thread and then 18 count ivory ada just they're really really well presented um and there is an argument about these plastic um, this plastic packaging that they come in. Bothy Threads, Threads have recently um, converted their kits to um, cardboard packaging. Um, and I, that is such a great idea. And I do think other kit makers should be following in that sort of suit because we all know that plastic doesn't, um, you know, you can recycle it, but, you know, plastic comes with its problems. So if, if kits can be put in cardboard kits, I think uh, cardboard boxes, then I think that is definitely the way to go. Uh, so there's that one. This is an RTO kit. This is called First Violets. RTO, I think, might be. Are they a Ukraine? Oh, they're an Estonian company. Um, so again, this was another D stash thing from the Essex Needles retreat, but I just really liked the colour palette in this. I'm a big fan of those purples. And the RTO kits come like this. So you get the Ada, which is 16 count. It doesn't say the colour, but that looks white to me. And then they, all the floss comes on these cards. Now, it does say that it is DMC floss, but it doesn't say what, the co what colours they correspond to. You could easily look that up. These things are quite good as well because you can cut the end of the floss if it's not already cut. And if you're somebody who works off of floss drops or floss cards a lot, you know, just pulling a strand with your needle. That's sort of perfect, isn't it? So this is a, you know, a smaller kit. Take you less time to do, definitely. Some of that half stitch. Yeah, the background here is half stitch as well. 
So, like that. Then I have um, Winter Cabin, another Dimensions Gold collection. Um, Debbie from Mama Bear Stitchery recently finished this and her finish was stunning. I think it took her a good couple of years to do, maybe maybe a little bit more than that, but um, it was so totally worth it. I love the, the colouring and the reflections in this little stream that you've got here and all the oranges in the sky. It does look like it's got quite a lot of white stitches, but I, I think that's deceiving. I think that's going to be a lot of blue and grey. So, yeah, amazing. Then we've got a couple of sunset kits. Sunset um, are Dimensions kits. So I don't know whether Sunset was the original name of Dimensions and then it changed the Dimensions or whether Dimensions bought Sunset out. I don't know the answer to that. Um, but anyway, this is called Giants of the Sea. Again, Debbie from Mum of Stitchery stitched this. Hi, Debbie, if you're watching. Yeah, I do pay attention to what you stitch. And yeah. Um, I don't know whether she's finished it or not. I can't remember. I think Amy from Amy Loves Toes is also stitching this. Debbie picked like a piece of um, hand dyed fabric with some mottling up here that made the sky look really lovely. I think Debbie finished this. I can't remember. Anyway, she she was one that inspired me to buy it anyway. So this is an older kit. It's from 1997 um, and it comes with blue Ada. So this is 14 count blue Ada and then you've got to sort the threads yourself. So, yeah. The other sunset kit I've got in this one is called Simple Treasures. Now you can buy this as a as a Dimensions kit. I think it's still available. Or they definitely repackaged it as a Dimensions kit. Um, but yeah, it's this beach scene that you've got here. And it says, um, take time to enjoy life's simple treasures. That's really lovely. The good thing about this one is that you've got like sections to it. So it would be quite easy to sort of like divide this up as it were or decide, right, I'm going to do this bit for this rotation and then I'm going to do this bit for a different rotation. Yeah, I really like that. That comes with 14 count white Ada. And again, you've got all of this, the threads to sort. Very beach themed palette. Yeah, there we go. And then the last one in this folder is a Lenate kit or a Lenart kit, Lenate. People pronounce it differently. I don't know what it is. This is called African Woman. It's part of their culture cross stitch collection. I bought this from Amazon recently when it was on sale. Um, it was down to a really, really good price. A lot of the Lenate kits or the... Um, the what a couple that I've got anyway they come in these boxes they've got like a little hanger to them and then there's a window at the top that kind of shows you the color palette of threads and the ada or whatever it fabric you've got and then obviously you can open it up I haven't opened this one this comes with 20 oh it's it, it's um even with 27 count even weave and it looks like can you see here it looks like it's printed so some of that some of that background um you're not going to stitch yeah love that right pause get another box <laughs> Okay, I might as well do ones that I've got sort of like, like my overspill pile. So this one is a Mill Hill kit. It's part of a Snow Crystal series and it's called Sapphire Crystal. Oh, put it in the frame so that you can see it. So um, yeah, it's a lovely little tree ornament. This was one of the first Mill Hill kits that I bought. Mm. Um. 
as I thought, I, I wanted to try beading. I thought I'll try something small to begin with. I've since beaded something much larger <laughs> than this, but it doesn't matter. So this comes with the beads, the charm, 14 count perforated paper, and then the floss that you need. So you have to, with Mill Hill kits, um, you have to sort the thread and you have to sort the beads out. But it gives you obviously a list in here of what you should expect to be in the package. And then you've got the perforated paper. Uh, which you could switch out for Ada in some cases, but because this is an ornament, it gives it some um, structure so that, you know, when you hang it off of your tree, it's not flopping about, basically. <laughs> um, I've got a buttons and beads kit, which are is a, a larger Mill Hill kit. This one's called Cappuccino. I showed this in my most recent floss tube as an acquisition. Um there's a series of these, like Latte, Espresso, a Mocha, I think. Um, again, you've got um, some perforated paper and the beads and the thread to sort. So lots of beads on that one. But you can see here that the whole of the word cappuccino is beaded. All of this is beaded, the edges of the cup. Yeah, there's a lot to do in there but they're stunning when they're done. Um, I have a small kit here from Magic Needle called Pink Rose. Um, so Magic Needle must be a Russian company because it says it's made in Russia. Well, that's not, not that's, that's a bit of a sweeping statement, isn't it? It's made in Russia. Perhaps it's Russian, perhaps it's Ukrainian. I don't know, but there we go. It's just a small kit. I ordered um, a different kit from mybobbin.com and in order to get free shipping, I needed to add like seven quids worth. So I, I just went and found like a really small kit and I liked this rose one from Magic Needle. And um, this comes with what looks like ivory Ada, 14 count. And you can see here again, you've got the floss cards with all of the different colours that you need on it. Um, another gold collection from Dimensions. This is called Cherry Blossom Creek. This is the first big gold collection um, kit that I bought. I bought it with some birthday money a couple of years ago. I just love this pink tree. And it's really, really colourful. But I know that that's going to be a challenge to stitch. So this actually comes with um, Blue Ada. So it's, um, what does it say? 16 count light blue Ada. And then you've got all of the floss. I have opened this, so it's not as neat as it would be if I'd have bought it from a website now. Um, so there's that. Um, another Lenate kit that I have is called um, Four Seasons. And Brenda from Handwork Maniac is stitching this. And it's stunning. It comes with, twenty again, 27 count um, white even weave. I know it's white because Brenda's stitching it. You can't actually see that through the window here. Um, but it is white even weave. And then all of the thread that you need. And so, yeah, you've got this lovely basket of flowers in the middle. And then each um, season has a panel. I know Brenda's working on this. She started in the middle and then she's working on it seasonally. So she's doing a bit um, each from each season every few months. So this is quite an expensive tree. I bought this out of some tax rebate money that I had last summer. Um, it was definitely a treat kit. Um, but when I got the tax rebate money, I just thought, well, if I don't get it now, when am I going to get it basically? Um, one that I've bought me recently again from Magic Needle, um, but this is completely different packaging than the one that we saw before. This is called Lilac and the Dutch stitcher um, recently finished this and showed it on a floss sheet that she did just before Christmas. I'm not sure whether it was her whip parade or whether it was one of her normal videos, but it looks stunning. And I I'm, I'm being drawn more and more to like florally kits um, lately. Um, so I'm not really sure why, but it's just so pretty. But yeah. Um, 
If I show you the back of this, you're just going to see the pattern. So I won't do that, but you can see in here that you've got the Ada um, and the Floss. Should we open this one and just see? Oh, mind you, the other Magic Needle one, you can see what the, how the Floss was. But this is a um, colour chart, um, which I know some people prefer coloured symbol charts. So, um, yeah, that's that. This one is in a project bag because it didn't. I bought it from a D-Stash group on Facebook and it didn't come with the original packaging. So this one is Victorian Charm. Again, this is not a gold collection. It's a standard dimensions kit. But I've been I've had on my wish list for ages and then finally got it. I think I'm going to be starting this with one of my subscribers in April, which I'm really excited about. Yeah. I love that hickledy pickledy Victorian house. It's lovely. Hmm. Um, and then in the bag I've got the this comes with a navy ada it's 18 count navy should be a bit of a challenge to stitch on it's a newer kit so all the flosses are pre-sorted um and the person who had it before clearly wanted to start it well a because it's out of the packaging but also because they've surged the edge or they've zigzagged the edges of the fabric so just make sure I'm... okay and then um last of the like extra stuff that I couldn't fit into anywhere is um, another one that I bought recently called Jewels of the Orient. So originally the Dimensions Gold Collection kits used to come in these bags. It's quite a nice idea because it's like a project bag, isn't it? You can just carry everything around in that. Um, of course, people like their fancier project bags now. Um, but yeah, again, you've got this lovely Oriental geisha scene. That's really pretty. Um, so in here, you've got sort of packaged up what you need. So you can see that you've got the um, Ada, which is 18 count ivory Ada. And then all the floss. I don't know why this is in here. Is it to do like... I have no idea. I thought it was, might have been to do tassels, but I'm not sure it is. Why is that in there? Literally no idea. Oh well. Um, does it say that it comes with? No, it just says, oh, cotton and metallic thread. So maybe that shouldn't be in there at all. I don't know. Anyway, this is a kit from 1999. So yeah. I've seen this come up quite a bit on eBay. This is where I bought it on eBay. So, um, yeah, you can still find it. Okay. Let's grab another box. <laughs> oh, okay. Some of them are stuffed quite full because, like, like I said, I do need to buy some new magazine holders. Um, I've got to do that. Right. Another recent purchase, um, can't remember where I got this. Oh, no, the, I didn't buy this. This um, I got as part of a swap at the, was it the September? I think it was the September Essex Needles Retreat. We tend to do um, some sort of a swap on the Saturday night. And this came as part of my, what the um, package that I received. So this is um, the Gold Collection Petite Coffee Shop. And I know that there's a stitch along going on for this at the moment. Um, hello from Liz Matthews. Um, Liz Matthews is doing a, um, a stitch along for this and sort of breaking up into parts. So I know some people are stitching this and I have seen a few pictures on Instagram pop up. Um, but it's really lovely. But you can see the level of detail in there for such a small kit. You know, this is what, five by seven? Oh no, six by six. You know, so it's a small stitch area, but it's, it's dense. Um, but the effect that you get is just stunning. So I think there are a couple of other shops in the series. So I want to say that there's a toy shop. 
Um, should we put this out a bit? Oh, the space. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, this is a Caterpillar cross stitch kit called Hello Pumpkin. Um, my mum bought this for me for my birthday a couple of years ago. Um, and I did want to start it after I finished Hello Sunshine. But I just haven't got around to it. So this is the autumn tree that they do. And then they also do Hello Deer, which is their winter tree. And Hello Petal, which is their spring tree. So you can buy this just as a pattern. Um, download it as a PDF from their website. Or you can buy it as a kit. Um, and their kits look like this. So it's DMC floss, but they um, wind them around these bobbin holders. But you do have these little cut out um, bits for you to put your spares. So, and then it comes with um, 14 count white Ada. You can choose on their website whether you want Ada or whether you want um, even weave. So at the time I was stitching more in Ada, so I went for the Ada. And plus, because I've stitched Hello Sunshine in Ada, I kind of wanted to keep them all the same. So, but yeah, their trees are really lovely. Yeah, so that's that. Another magic needle kit. Um, this has been started. I got this off of a D-Stash group on Facebook and the lady had started it, but she didn't want to finish it. But she's only done, you can see, like a really small bit in the centre. So I can just unpick that. So this is called Peonies for Needle Woman. And there's a little series of these. Um, they do like different flower things and then different things to do with needlework, which are really lovely. So I just really like the colour palette on it. Um, and this comes with, what is it, 14 count, what, what looks like ivory Ada. And then you can see in here that you've got all the floss. Another thing I got at the Essex Needles swap, this is a Luca S kit um, called Coffee Fairy. I mean, I, I wouldn't, it wouldn't have occurred to me to buy that kit for myself, but I think it is really sweet. I do like this little tree up here. Yeah, so this comes with like a, what is it, it says it's a 16 count Ada. It looks like a, like a Rustico. Ada and then again like the um like the caterpillar cross stitch kit you've got all of the pre-sorted floss it's anchor floss in here so I don't think I've ever stitched with anchor floss so that'll be something new and different um I've got a kit that my mum bought me from for Christmas, not last year, but the year before. This is a Letty Stitch kit, which I believe that Luca S and Letty Stitch are part of the same company. So um, this is called Spring Fairy. And she is amazing. Look at that lovely blue dress, her beautiful face. This cute little deer down here, her wings. But it is full coverage. And Letty Stitch and Luca S do this thing where they put the skill level on here. So out of five. So this is four. The coffee fairy that I showed you is three. And then it, what they will also do is let you know over here what to expect in terms of like what the stitches are going to be like. So this is telling me that it's going to use cross stitch in two strands. There are going to be French knots and backstitch in one in one strand. So, yeah. Maybe this little bit here is beads. I'm sort of wondering what that other circle was. Maybe it's beads. Um, again, that's got um, 16 count Ada. Looks like white Ada and then all of the floss that you need. And then they come out with a little package of needles, which both kits have got a needle in them. Um, yeah, you can see that this mum got this from Arts and Designs. So yeah, little drink. 
haven't had a good throat the last couple of days. It's typical, isn't it? Um, yeah, not to the point of needing to go to the doctors or, but just feeling a little bit under the weather. I really wanted to film this kit parade. Um, yes, yeah, I was excited to share everything with you. <laughs> um, okay, this is the other kit that I got from my bobbin. This is called Kingdom of Books and it's by a brand called Andriana. And again, Brenda from Hammock Maniac is stitching this. And it is this lovely book scene. The books like, look like houses. And I think it's supposed to represent like the houses along an Amsterdam canal. It's lovely. Um, mine looks a bit different in the back because I did get Megan from Coffee Craft Fabrics to dye me a piece of fabric. Because I didn't want to stitch all of this wooden looking background. Um, so again, that's an idea that I've stolen from Brenda. <laughs> um, so this I think is a 28 count even weave, whereas it comes with 14 count Ada. So the floss usage is going to be the same. Um, but yeah, I've had that for ages, that piece of fabric, well over a year now, and I still haven't started it. It's just such a stunning scene and there are some kits that Adriana does where you've got like a few books um yeah it's like a bit of a theme Marie's cross stitch does some of the Adriana kits um so if you have a little look on there you'll be able to see some other things that she does sell this one as well um if you're interested um okay a Boffy Threads kit. This is an older kit because it's not in the cardboard packaging. This is called Sunshine. And it's a duck with sunflowers. How cute. It just had to be done. So this is part of their Rendell Designs line uh, by Hannah Dale. She does all of the artwork. They turn it into kits. So it comes with this speckled fabric. So you don't have to stitch those speckles. You can see here that the speckled fabric is included. And I believe if you go onto their website, you can buy a speckled even weave. So if you're more of an even weave stitcher, then you can buy a speckled even weave off of their website. Um, so this comes with the 14 count speckled, uh, printed speckled Ada, and then all of the colors that you need. And again, you've got the floss cards down here with the symbols on. Um, it doesn't, it obviously doesn't look like it's all been sorted, so you will have to sort that yourself. Um, but yeah, that's a really cheery kit, isn't it? I love the Boffy Threads kits. Um, this is a kit that I've had for years, and it's in a bag, so I don't have the original packaging. When I came back to Cross Stitch a few years ago, this was a kit that had been started, um, but... I'd gone wrong somewhere and I didn't know I hadn't I hadn't made like a massive start basically and so I unpicked what I had and just put it all back in a kit in into the bag this is the kit where I have no idea where I got this from so it's it's not even got a name like it's from this Chinese oh, I don't even know if it's Chinese company called Gong Ting Cross Stitch I have literally no idea where I got this from and knowing what I know now, this is going to be copied from somewhere, but I have no idea where. And I know I showed this on my last kit parade and there was somebody that commented that Alera has the same kit. Um, and to go and watch her, her kit parade. And I did, but I, I'm pretty sure she said that she didn't know where she got it from either or where the original artwork is from. So if anybody does know where the, what the original artwork is... Or where I can buy like a genuine kit, I'd love to hear because, yeah, obviously I'm not about fake kits now. I'm not about, you know, copyrighted stuff. Um, but this came with like a black 14 count Ada. And again, you've got all of the floss. That um, Do you have to sort yourself or was it all pre-sorted? I, I think it was pre-sorted. I don't know, it's a bit of a mess in there now. Um, okay, this is a kit that Darren stitched from Dizzy Stitcher. This is called Tiger of the Heavens. It's a um, design works kit, I think. Yeah, design works. 
so I just really like the colouring on this and it comes with um, some sequins and beads for you to put on afterwards so this is a 14 count um, navy Ada you've got the thread card and then you've got all of the um, beads and the sequins so you can sort of see some of the sequins up here do the beads go in the middle I think the beads go in the middle of the sequins but yeah really lovely this is a kit that I bought in a charity shop from Vervico called Deep in Thought she's really pretty there's going to be a lot of backstitch in that there's a lot of detailed backstitch in it but it doesn't look like massive amount of stitching so um this came in a folder that somebody else had put it in but it's got like a sparkly pink like peachy ada does it say but it's 14 count yeah can you see i don't know whether you're going to be able to see the sparkle probably not or maybe a little bit and then all of the floss that you need you don't actually get sparkly um fabric in kits do you but anyway that was like a few quid or something so how are we doing for time okay maybe we can do it um i've got a riolas kit here this is called sakura bridge there's a little series of these. Um, I think there's three in the series. And again, you've got that oriental vibe to it. There are lots of French knots, I believe. These, all of these little circle bits in here are all French knots. You could switch them out for like petite beads if you, if you weren't a French knot stitcher. But I love the colour palette of this. It's just glorious. It's so delicate and beautiful. So you've got all of the floss on these floss cards again and then this is um 14 count white ada and this is an anchor floss that's being used here look at those blues it's just so pretty you can see a couple of the other ones this is like a longer one and then this one here as well it would be nice to get the others in the set these are a couple of kits that I got for my birthday a couple of years ago from my stitchy friend Megan. This is a magic needle kit called Spring Song and it's of these lovely blue and yellow birds. I don't know what kind of birds they are but they're so pretty. And look at all of those wonderful flowers around the outside. Oh it's just gorgeous. So this comes with um, blue fabric I believe. Again, I'm not going to, the back is the pattern, so, um, but you can just see in here and then all of the threads that you need. Does it say what kind of thread it uses? No, don't know what kind of thread it uses. But yeah, gorgeous. And the other one that she bought me was called blue jay and grapes that's so colorful and look i really love the bees on here as well but yeah um i believe blue jays they're not native to the uk i think they are native to the states the only time i've ever sort of come across one is the wrong way but you know that episode of big bang theory where blue jay gets into sheldon's apartment if you know, you know. But yeah, that's the only reason I know what blue jays are. <laughs> Seems a bit ridiculous. Um, but this comes with um, 14 count, what looks like a cream Ada, and all of the pre sorted threads. So that's that. There's a lot in this one. This is um, another Boffy Threads kit, but it's their Derwent Water Designs branch. This is called birds waders and again i got this for my birthday a couple of years ago 
but I really liked the effect of like the water in the different colours in this one. It was stunning. It's got a little bit of a metallic thread in it and it's got 14 count ivory Ada. You can see. And then you've got your own floss card down here. But you will have to sort that, I suppose. Or is it sort of already sorted down here? I think it's already sorted. Um, okay. I've got a drawn thread kit. So I don't really know whether to include this because it's not like a traditional kit. But I might as well show you anyway. I'll just show you quickly. This is um, Sunnyside Sampler. And I can't remember the name of the shop that kitted this up. Was it Northgate Needlecraft? Might have been. Anyway, it's got dinky dyes in it and stuff. And so she put all of the dinky dyes on a on a card. But I changed out the fabric. So it does call for like a raw linen. Which I thought the piece that was in here was quite dark. It was a lot darker than in the picture. So I put in here this piece of greeny 28 count. I'm a bit worried that I won't have enough floss. We'll have to see. This was a unicorn kit that I got very recently. So it's very rare and expensive. Um, this is called, well usually anyway when you see it come up, Sweet Nectar. It's a kit from Dimensions from 1999. Again, you've got this circle thing that I really like. I really like hummingbirds. Something about hummingbirds that I really like. It's just so pretty. All the flowers are really pretty. You've got hummingbirds in the outside here. Again, this is a different sort of packaging style. So I've got this cardboard packaging. Um, and then inside... I slip this out? I don't think I can. Inside you can see the Ada and you will have to sort the threads. So this comes with 18 count ivory Ada. Love that. And then lastly in this one is another dimensions kit. It's called Roses on White Chair. This comes up a lot on eBay and on D-Stash groups. I love the colour palette it's floral again it's it's my sort of aesthetic so and um, this has like a tan ada they're calling it beige i think it's more tan but um again it's a mirror kit that so has all of the pre-sorted floss with dimensions kits i normally cut the floss off of here and put them on floss drops because i don't like working off of these I appreciate that it's all been sorted out, but I don't like working off of them, so I will cut it off of here and put it on floss drops. Yeah. Okay, we'll pause and let me put those back in there. Okay, number three. Uh, how should we attack this? Um, this is a little Dimensions ornament kit. It's called um, Train Ornament. So this is a bit different. It comes with plastic canvas and then the pre-sorted threads. A price, I bought it from Franklin's in Colchester. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you stitch it on the plastic canvas and then cut round it. And I believe there's enough floss in there for you to make this little hanger in as well. So they do lots of different kinds of these. And there are some Dimensions kits that you can get with like four or six ornaments in them so there's that i've got another petite dimensions kit called beguiling tiger put it this side darren's stitching this at the moment from dizzy stitcher and um, this comes with like a tan ada what's it say 18 count beige ada and pre-sorted threads so yeah, he's really cute. I love the colour palette on that. You look at these and you think, these are a good challenge. I, I really enjoy, I relish the challenge of them. The bigger ones, I haven't yet tackled one of those yet. So we'll see. Um, you also get Dimensions kits like this. These are a little bit smaller. This is called Christmas Penguin. Comes with 14 count light blue Ada and all the threads. Um, Jen from the Caffeinated Crafter recently finished this. So, um, yeah. 
bit of a smaller design. These are all French knots up here, which I believe that she didn't do. I might do them as petite beads because carrying thread, I think you'd probably see that around the back. And I'm not really sure how you could anchor one French knot. I don't know whether that's possible. Let me know if, if it is. But um, maybe petite beads would be better up there. That one. We've also got this one called Be A Light. This is another small sort of standard dimensions kit. I really like those mason jars and all the fireflies around the outside. It's really pretty. So this comes with, um, is it 14 count Navy Ada, which you can just about see down the bottom here. And then this has been opened before. So it's not as neat as it once was, but you've got the pre-sorted floss. I like all the greens and blues in there. That's really nice. Sorry. My phone's on loud. I have it on loud when my um when my daughter's at preschool. Um this is called um Scenic Lighthouse. It's another petite kit. Uh, the Be a Light one and this one I bought from the Facebook D stash like a couple of years ago, and so they've been sitting in my stash for a while. I, I quite like lighthouses and dimensions do quite a lot of lighthouse kits. So um, I don't know whether I'd want to stitch and collect all of them, but this one's quite pretty with the um, pink flowers in the fence as well. Yeah, it's quite a, it's a lovely little scene, isn't it? So um, you're not going to be able to see because, again, this has been opened, but this comes with, um, is it 14 count? 18 count white Asia and then all of the pre-sorted floss. Um, what else have we got in here? We've got some other little ones. Just pull those out. This is one of the Dimensions banner kits, the mini banner kits. So this is something a little bit different. This is called Share Love. I bought this um, in December last year off of eBay. And when you stitch it, you can make it into a little hanging and it actually comes with, um, I believe, the hanger inside. What does it say on here? Yeah, wire hanger. 14 count white Ada. I think that would be a lovely little decoration to do for Christmas. And there are quite a few of these, but they're a bit harder to get hold of. So um, if you're interested, I've set up some notifications on eBay and see if you can get your hands on them. But yeah, you've got all of the pre-sorted threads. This is another buttons and beads kit. It's called Honeybee. I've been waiting for this to come back in stock for ages. I can't remember where I got it from now. Or maybe I got it from a one, two, three stitch order. I sort of threw it in there because it had been, I've been waiting to get it for a while. Some of the buttons and beads kits or just mill heel kits in general are quite hard to get hold of sometimes. But this comes with um, like a tan perforated paper and all of the floss. I know quite a few people who switch the perforated paper out for um, normal fabric, which you can, of course, do. This is another little small dimensions kit. This is an older one, though, from 1996 called Bluebirds of Happiness. I love a bird kit. Hadn't really seen this and then it popped up on eBay. I think I was scrolling for something else. So, um, yeah, you have to sort the thread yourself. And then that's 14 count ivory Ada. Like that. Bigger kits in here. This is Wise Owl, another Dimensions kit. I, I do have quite a big collection of Dimensions. I do really like their stuff. Um, and although I, I've stitched a couple of the petites and I've got the ornament on the go the uh, one of the christmas ornaments on the go um i just love their stuff and love yeah so you know they, they say collecting and cross stitching are two different hobbies so yeah i love him he's just amazing and the whole color palette on this is really lovely again i think amy from amy loves toads is stitching this but she's sort of cutting it off so she's just really stitching the owl 
um, which isn't a bad shout. But this comes with white Asia, I think, 14 count, and then you've got all the pre-sorted gloss there. This was another eBay purchase. It's called, oh, what's it, Facebook D-Stash? Can't remember. Um, Power of the Serengeti. When Debbie did her kit parade for Mama Bear Citri, um, she did a kit parade last year, didn't she? Um, it was probably around this time last year, actually. She showed this, um, and I thought, I have to put that on my watch list. So, yeah, I waited for it to come up, and then it did. And then I got it. So it's the three elephants. This is a kit from 1999. And you can't see it in here, but it does have um, 16 count Dove Grey, Ada and Floss that you have to sort. Although I think somebody else has sorted it in here because there's a card that they've put it on. So. Um, another Dimensions kit. <laughs> This is Butterflies and Daisies. This is one of my favourites just because of the colour palette and how pretty the flowers are. Yeah, it's so lovely. This is um, 14 count light green Ada, which you didn't come across a lot. They do sort of like their bog standard colours, don't they, Dimensions? And then pre-sorted floss. So that's sort of a bigger kit to do that I think would be a nice step up from the petites. So maybe this is a another potential start in April um, and it looks like that background is all half stitch mm. yeah I'll consider it oh sorry <laughs> um this is another older sunset kit called honey bear this is from 2001 I saw Luda show this um oh it was ages ago now and teddy bears and things are, don't always appeal to me but there was something about this that i really liked so yeah this is an older kit you've got threads to sort and this is 14 count beige ada um another bottom threads kit this is one I bought when I went to the um, knitting and stitching show last year. This is called Wild at Heart Roam Free. So they've sort of been doing these little series of hearts with different scenes in. So this one's called Roam Free. And then I think there are like three others in the series, which are really, really lovely. So it took me a while to figure out which one of them I wanted to buy. Um... This would be a good one for some block stitching though, because there's a lot of block stitching in that. But it's just really lovely. Um, and you've got all of the floss. Look how much blue there is. <laughs> um, it says that that is a 14 count misty blue Ada. So yeah. And then the last one in this one is one I got for Christmas from my sister. Oh, this is stunning. It's called The King of Flowers by Luca S. I just love how beautiful those flowers are. That's probably a lot of work. It's three, three heart skill level, but it's just cross stitch. Look, it says down here, just cross stitch. But it's full coverage as far as I can tell. Like even up here, you can like this is that's all stitched. So it's sixteen count white Ada, and you've got all of the thread. There's a lot of thread, but look at how pretty those pinks and purples are. I just think it's going to be stunning. You should just jump into these things, right? You should just jump into them. Right, that's the end of number three. What time is it? Okay, we've got time to do number four. We've got time to do number four. Okay, pause. Right, last magazine file. Okay, another gold technic. Speak properly. Another gold collection petite kit is called um, Ornate Butterfly. So this was off of the D stash table when I went to the Essex Needles Retreat. Is it in September? 
think it might have been in September. Yeah. It's just stunning. It's just my kind of thing. It's Black Ada, I believe. 18 count Black Ada. And then pre-sorted threads. And the person I bought it from has like masked the edges. So they were, were going to start it and then never did. So, oh, I just love that. Um, this is another Andriana kit. Oh, I forgot I had this. This is called Deerland. Does it say? Yeah, it does say it on here, Deerland. Yeah, it says it on the front as well. And it looks like this. So Andriana also does the one with the owl with the massive spread wings. But I do like the owl, but I just don't think it's something that I want to stitch. So when I saw this one with like the little town, this has got a real um, Russian kind of folklore feel to it. Um, yeah, and it's just stunning. Really, really stunning. So this comes with 16 count black Ada and then all of the floss that you need. Doesn't say what what brand of floss it is. It's Vigar um, fabric. Yeah, don't know. Right, this is another um cut riolis kit but it's one of the riolis premium kits and i didn't know these existed until i think was it was it laura who did a kit parade and this was part of her stash might have been don't know anyway um this is girl with a pearl pearl earring so it's obviously a representation of the painting I was just really intrigued by the premium kit and um, the fact that you it's a really good representation of the painting and I do like the painting to bring that to life in cross stitch would be amazing and obviously I do that all the time with full coverage but with a kit you've got less to do haven't you so this comes with 40 count black ada an anchor floss and you get a couple of glimpses of the details on the back which is really lovely so there is some back stitch in here that you can see and around her eyes as well um i don't so if i just take this well it comes with like a little box and you can obviously see the pattern then underneath there is the ada i'm um, ada and the floss i'm not going to take that out right now but um, yeah, this was an eBay find. Um, I have got um, another Lanate kit. So this is another way that the Lanate kits come. This is called Buddha. Again, I've got another Buddha kit. Um, this is another pre-printed fabric. So it's 27 count. And you can see here that um, some of that background is on there. So you wouldn't have to stitch all of that orangey colour um and i don't know that looks like full cross at the back though still i think the rest is full cross um and then you've got the floss cars which somebody has very helpfully put the symbols on um and then i don't know what that is why is that there maybe the needles were on it i don't know anyway yeah that was another ebay find um this was a kit that was gifted to me by the lovely Alison. Uh, she gave this to me at the latest Essex Needles retreat. This is called Sacred Connection by Dimensions. It's sort of got it's sort of a Native American, well it is a Native American inspired kit. But you've got like the animals that are present, you know, at first glance you might not see them. Here, here, here. And even his like cloak that makes him look like an eagle. So clever. So clever. Um, so yeah. 
Um, this is so this is an older kit. This is another one that comes in one of those bags. It's from 1998, and it comes with 18 count navy Ada. You can see that here, and then all of the threads to sort. <laughs> I haven't tried sorting the threads. I know Laura from Stitch Birds really enjoys sorting out threads. I haven't tried doing that yet, so I don't know how I feel about it. Um, this is another kit that I got towards the end of last year. It's from Jamlin. I think this is the only this is the only Jamlin kit I've got in my stash. Maybe. Because there are a few kit designers that I don't have yet. So, for example, I'd like to get a Bucilla kit. I'd like to get um, an anchor kit and um, there's like a foresty type one that is on my wish list. I'd love to get a Maya kit which is also made by anchor. Um, yeah I can't think of any others but there's there's a few kit makers on my wish list. So this is a Jamlin kit it's called um, Santa's wish list. I can't remember the name of the floss tuber that had this in their kit parade. Um, if I remember, I'll put it on the screen. And anybody that I um, talk about today, I'll link down below as well. Um, I was going to say, I should have said at the beginning of the video that I won't be listing all of these kits in the description box. That will just take me forever. So if I haven't been clear enough about anything, like you want some more information on a kit or whatever, just make a note of the time of when I talked about the kit and um, feel free to message me. Um, so yeah, Santa's wish list. I saw this on somebody else's kit parade um, and really liked it. So yeah, Santa creeping through the house with his sack of toys and his massive list. It's very Victorian. I love that. Um, so this is a piece of 14 count Ada. It's like this really dirty brown colour. And then look at all of that floss to sort. <laughs> that's a lot that's going to be a kit to get your teeth into isn't it um i've got a few more this is one that i went to start and then i very quickly changed my mind i don't know why and um, it's another buttons and beads kit um my sister bought me this for my birthday god this has got stuck there we go um a couple of years ago it's called autumn swing Maybe it's the perforated paper. Maybe I just shouldn't switch, stitch it on the perforated paper. I don't know if I'm going to have issues with that. But I really like the autumnal scene. Um, you've got a button and some um, beads in there. I've already sorted, I sorted out the floss. Um, and then I stitched this. <laughs> and then was sort of like, oh, I don't know. So I put it down again. So it's in my kit stash and it's not on my whip list. So one day we'll get back to it. And perhaps on a piece of fabric. Um, okay, doing well for time. This is another older dimensions kit. It's called Three Bird Watchers. I'm not really into cats. Um, we don't have pets. And not that I wouldn't like a pet. I don't know whether I would. I had pets when I was younger. But Stefan is allergic to cats and he sort of, in recent years, discovered that he might be allergic to dogs. So um, we just sort of discussed as a family that we're not, we're probably not going to have pets in the house. I don't know, I'm just not that kind of, not that kind of family. Anyway, um, but I just, I love this scene. Look at this. Three bird, look at them. cute little kittens and then those birds in the foreground lovely wintry scene it's really cute i like it and uh, this is from 1997 and it's got um 18 count ivory ada and all the floss and presumably dimension started putting a little floss card for you to sort it all out on okay two to go okay this is indian peacock this was a christmas purchase when um hobbycraft were doing half price on all of their kits i went and bought a few and this was one of them 
I just, yeah, I think, again, this is an Indian peacock, isn't it? It's got a very Asian feel to it, and I really like that. So, um, yeah, look at that. Look at all those blues. But all the pinks as well. It's got a very watercolour-y background, which I like. This is, what, what are they calling it? Natural Ada. 14 Cat Natural Ada, and then all of the floss. And the last one I've got to show you is one that I bought off of my friend Susie. She was de-stashing this on Facebook. It's the only stocking that I have. I do have a few others on my wish list, um, but it's the only one I bought so far. This is the Candy Cane Santa stocking from Dimensions. I really like that little scene, basically. You know, him by the tree. It's all very festive, isn't it? Um, so I am thinking about stitching this for my daughter, but we'll see. Um, it comes with 16 count Dove Grey Ada. Also comes with some felt for you to do, what, the back? I think so. Yeah, it does have some finishing materials, which is cool. So there we go. There's also some sort of sequiny things in here too, because it's sort of what looks like snowflakes on the front. So yeah. There we go. That's everything. Um, oh no, hold on. There's one more little one in here. <laughs> and this is a Mill Hill Gardens and Gnomes Charmed Ornaments Kit called Beehive House. I bought this again at the Knitting and Stitching show. Um, so yeah, it's like a spring or summer. Is it part of the summer? It must be summer. Yeah, I like the little beehives. Cute. Again, perforated paper, beads, thread to sort. Yeah. That <laughs> is the last one. <laughs> so I'm not sure how long that video will be because I've sort of paused it at different points um i do have a few kits on the go you can go and watch my recent whip parade to see which um kits i've currently got on the go but i have an awful lot more in my stash um, and i have an awful lot more in my wish list so on my um i have bookmarks on my phone i will show you just very quickly so I have like a cross stitch. I don't know, are you going to be able to see this? No, maybe not. Well, I have a cross stitch folder and then in the cross stitch folder it says cross stitch kits. I'll click to that and if I, if I just do this. <laughs> are you going to be able to see it this side? Oh no, I didn't mean to click on that. Go back to the top. So cross stitch kits. You can see I have many more in my wish list. Um, and they're, they're just the ones that I can get off of standard sites. Um, you know, then I have lots of notifications set up on eBay for ones that come up. Um, sometimes I end up getting them, sometimes I don't. Obviously, keep an eye out on these stash pages because um, you can get yourself a real bargain on there. Um, and again, things come up that you wouldn't normally, that you can't just buy regularly. Um, so I de definitely recommend that. Um, yeah, uh, I'm going to wrap this video up because I have about 20 minutes before Bella needs to be picked up from preschool. So I'm going to tidy up. Um, I finished working on a whip today. Like, yeah just before lunch, so just before I dropped her off at preschool. So I'm going to get another whip out to work on later. And then I will edit this video when she gets home from preschool this afternoon. I've got to go and take my uh, hoover to the repair shop. That's a boring detail that you don't need to know. But you know, that's what my afternoon entails. Going to pick up my daughter from preschool and taking my hoover to the repair shop. <laughs> so anyway, um, any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Um, 
are you taking part in all the kits april i will leave a link to that video down below i posted that a few days ago i would love to have you join in there were have been loads of people who said that they will join in and i'm just so excited about it so um yes if you haven't seen that video yet go check that out um like i said i won't be putting all of these kits in the description box but if you have any questions about any of the kits that i discussed that I didn't mention, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.